In this video, I'll show you how to use a rake to improve your golf swing. So, how is a rake going to help us? Well, you're probably going to find this hard to believe, but the motion of raking is similar to the beginning of a golf swing. Now, if I hold this like upside down golf club and I rake that way, sort of like I was rowing a boat or paddling on a paddleboard, that is the beginning of the golf swing. It's very simple, much like a rowing motion. And I have actually zip tied these two golf clubs together to illustrate that. So if I grip it and I were to swing, the first part of the downswing sends that club head right down the target line. As I approach the ball, the second club head comes around, strikes the ball, and we move through to the finish. Now, I'll show you this from the side. First club head passes through the ball on the target line. Second club head passes through the ball on the target line. If you have a tendency to swing over the top, let's say you get to the top and your first move is to turn, well, there's no way that you're going to get that club head, the first club head, to trace down the line. You have to start the downswing without turning. Then as the second club head comes around, you get into your turn. Just like you would be uh, rowing uh, a paddleboard. It's, it's just that simple. Uh, now, if I take that club head and we keep going, we're right into a perfect on-plane golf swing. Another thing I wanted to talk about today was that you should only think about swinging in one direction. Uh, and what I mean by that is people tend to try to make their hands go down and then go up in an attempt to make yourself swing in a circle or in an arc. But you can't stop that from happening. So if you simply drive your hand downward that way, it goes up once it passes the bottom and your intention is still down but it's now going up but if you think about trying to make it go up you get that alligator arm chicken wing which does nothing for your impact and finally the last thing i want to talk about is the distance between your hands and your left hip uh, i see a lot of people swing and their hands are getting closer to their hip. Hips come forward, hands go down, and it's they're just coming very close. And what you want to actually happen is to increase this distance between the hip and the hands as far as you can as you move through the ball. So your left hip is going backward and your hands are going that way forward and you want to get as much distance here as you can if you're in over the topper most likely you're coming very close to that hip and we want to get as much space as we can between those hips and the hands right over the top comes in that way we want space as much as we can get Okay? Okay.